previously. I'm going to hurt you. And so we go. Hello friends, my name's Internet, and welcome back to We Happy Few. I was making some tea and getting some water and such while uh, just, just taking a little bit of a breather. And I realized that my setup behind me is really stereotypical. Got like all my games, I've got a random pig for some reason, I've got some figurines, I've got my Fallout 4 poster, which you can barely see, I wonder if I can move this without causing any problems. See? Fallout 4. But yeah. So there's that. Uh, anyways, we are, oh well, fuck. We're going to go do the main quest, because a lot of these I just don't really know what to do. <laughs> Alright. Let's go find Faraday. I need to go to the Bobby HQ. Oh, I need also need to get rid of this waypoint so I don't know. You know. Toxic waste? I mean toxic waste. Where? What toxic waste? Over there? Here? Can I patch it? I guess not. I guess it's just here. Okay. Whatever. We're gonna go to the Bobby HQ. So, yeah. Let's head that direction. Oh, I need to uh, need to heal up. Oh, let's just go. It'll be fine. Where am I going? Here. HQ. I guess it is. Oh great, now I'm hungry too. Hi! Uh, hello! I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. Tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbottom, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not in a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen. He's got to get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the inter-insular bridges. Two oh. requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate vestiment will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. Oh, sure. Okay. Hell is festivals. They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties. Well, he made all the bridges. I'll take the red. Um, okay. I press the button. Interrogation report. Lock strap. These are the body holes. No wonder I don't have no idea where they're coming from. Can't go that way. I guess I'm gonna go this way. Button I press. Percival Hastings, is it not? <laughs> no. 
It's Arthur. That's all. Went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Wait. Am I Percy? So that's where I need to go. Fair enough. I can't talk Lovely to you. For it. Right on. I'll read this later. There's a memory there. going that way, but I won't. It's fine. Heal up. Oh, Stu gave me both. Whoops. Oh well.
can take him out, but I can't. Going, please, keep going, please, keep going, please. Thank you. Ah. Yes, I know I'm so special. Nothing to see here. All is good. Have a fantastic day. Uh, Lovely day for it. Bye, though. Jesus Christ. That was absolutely terrifying. I've got a key card now, though. That's pretty cool. Thanks. Have a good day. Couldn't be better, thanks. I'm going to take Ben's eye lessons. You should come too. Sure. I have a key card now, though. Um, I could go here. I need to turn around and get on that street. <sighs> Shut up. It's the crying woman. Not that much more. Hey, yeah. Hi. Oh, I guess he's just gonna. Okay. just gonna keep walking or do I have to bribe him? I will bribe him. Hi. Lovely weather. Lovely day for it. This is for you. Well, well, well. That's right kind of you. Do you think so? I already bribed him with scotch. You want more scotch? A key card. Fuck a nail. Um. It smells like something burned out. Can I? First off, I want to put on that damn fanny pack. Sorry, just 
Report. <coughs> Interrogation of Daniel Douglas by Constable Jack Constable. Subject lives at number two Swallow Street, St. George home. Subject states that the fog was particularly thick last night. He had to go to the window to shut it as his living room was becoming particularly clammy. We heard a scream. It frightened him. He heard a scream. And he screamed too. At that, a woman came half out of the fog. She seemed to be struggling with someone. She opened her mouth as if to call him, but then he noticed a line of red across her throat. Then she collapsed. Then a man came out of the fog and stared at him. He says the man's face seemed oddly familiar. The man disappeared into the fog. He was about to call for help when a voice whispered very close, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. At that moment, he closed the window and went to hide under his bed. At this point, the subject became quite distraught and began shouting that the constabulary must stop this miscreant for wit. A doctor was promptly summoned, Dr. Trollany, who administers a usual dose of joy. At this, the subject perked up quite a bit and departed. No woman's body was found on Swallow Street, however, a jubilator had recently passed the scene of the alleged accident. To Constable Bevins and Sergeant Sergeant. Sir, Sergeant Sir. Again? Oh, it must be Thursday. Tell Dr. V to fuck off, polite like. Even if she wasn't the only source of black fairy, the general would have our heads. <clears throat> Constable should be on the lookout for a tall male donner, about 11 stone, brown, brown glasses. Suspect may, be, may use illicit drugs to appear to be on joy, although apparently inoffensive subject should be regarded as violent and extremely dangerous. Assess, approach, and apprehend, but if by bad luck an unusual amount of force is required for the constable's safety, no one will be terribly put out if the subject goes the way of the jubilators. <coughs> to Miss... Mrs. Beatrice Dalrymple from Sergeant Sergeant. I recognize the need for isolating, isolating Dr. Faraday at Dunsinane House. However, you cannot ask us to patrol Lud's home. The island is crawling with berserk wastrels infected with the plague. I can't place my constables at the mercy of mobs of homicidal lunatics spouting old English. And if, God forbid, one of them were to come back bitten or scratched, well, that's it. Good for old Maidenholm. If you must, appoint someone you trust to look in on her. About, how about Bobby Hickenbotham? He's loyal, if not terribly reliable, and if he's bitten, no great loss. Well, aren't you kind? I need three more points. Nobody here. Um, I would like to go to here real quick. I want to grab my raggedy suit and have it in my inventory. Yes, I know I have enough points to buy a skill. Uh, let's put all this up. Yes. And let's take out my suit. Okay. Um, oh, I... Old Trader Inco. Um... I can take this to her real quick. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's actually put on this one. And let's actually get rid of this map marker. So I'm confused. I can't keep doing this. Hey! <laughs> I had a shot of Ringo. Oh, lovely! I can make something 
out of this. Can you? You are a dear. Oh, wait. I also need a sewing kit. Have you got one? Not on me. Yeah. Oh, for the love of fuck. <laughs> Do you need scraps of cloth as well? Okay, sewing kit. And just in case. Maybe some duct tape. If you don't need one of these, I'm going to be really upset. Or if you need more than what I've got, I'm going to be really upset. I'm not going to be upset if you end up not needing any of it, because, cool, I'll well, just put it back. Alright then, Miss Pankhurst. Hello, love. <coughs> Hello, love. <laughs> Did you bring me a sewing kit? Yes. That's exactly what I needed. I promised to teach you the secret, didn't I? Well, listen to this. You make the hole first, then you put the needle through. You got that, dearie? Gloves, boots, another raincoat. You can make anything rubbery that way. <laughs> Cool. She just disappeared into the booth. Straight into the booth. Alright. Station closed during beautification. Sure. Um, I... Talking bench again, it's over here, right? Yeah. What do I need trainers for? Ah, run faster and longer. Okay. Oh. <coughs> I need quite a few things, can't I? Alright. Yes, I have eight points. I mean, I guess I could. No. Kind of want to get this. <coughs> oh. Well. Choke out taller enemies. for this, right? Yep, we'll get that next. Uh, let's take a nap over here. I don't care what time it is when I'm mm. to sleep. Oh, you'll move, Sandman. Alright, let's go ahead and... Where's this honey? Alright, let's eat some stew. <sighs> and on that note, we're going to end that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Good night, setting out. Bye!